This is PVC pipe. This is a Coke bottle. This is a Coke bottle. Right. Now, once it's pressurized, when you pull the trigger, you literally open a valve to let the water come out of the bottle and out through the nozzle. When inventor Lonnie Johnson was designing this toy... Whoa, whoa, okay, wow. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, He that's... had no idea <laughs> what a splash it would make. Oh, no. <laughs> the CPS 1000 packs a full force blast from first shot to last. Since the Super Soaker hit store shelves in the early 1990s, it's racked up more than $1 billion in sales. My turn! When Johnson was growing up in Mobile, Alabama, he played with everything, including fire. One of my fondest memories actually was when I was mixing rocket fuel in my mother's kitchen. Fire and smoke was spewing out of the pot. When my parents realized what had happened, they told me that I would have to mix my rocket fuel outside from now on. So they, they just simply admonished you and said, Lonnie, please stop using the stove top as a launch pad. <laughs> The fuse was lit, and in 1968, he entered a statewide high school science competition with his very own robot. It took me over a year to build him, and it was all remote control. He took first place. After earning his master's in nuclear engineering, Johnson landed at NASA's legendary Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The most powerful water gun ever. ever. But it was while he was at home in his bathroom trying to design a new kind of water pump that he had a happy accident. Turned the water on and was watching what was happening and just kind of turned and shot the stream of water across the bathroom into the bathtub. And I thought to myself, this, this would make a really neat water gun. The super soaker was born. Whoa! <laughs> I'm having a little trouble seeing, but it doesn't matter because I'm sure this one... Johnson then turned his engineering eye on the Nerf gun. Shoot. Oh, oh, right in the lip. The success of Johnson's work with toys has allowed him to pursue more serious projects at his lab in Atlanta. So conceivably one day this technology could be used as a wearable garment that will charge your cell phone this one, called the JTEC, is an ambitious project that Johnson hopes one day allows the conversion of heat into electricity. Press the button. Lonnie Johnson was inducted into the Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame in 2011. Was your mother there when you were inducted into that Hall of Fame? Yes. Did you ever buy her a new saucepan? <laughs> Well, I did remodel her house. <laughs> <laughs>